throughout. So when you shockwave, especially when you're low, you always want to try to stay low, but also you're trying to get distance, of course, to get away from the team that is lasering you. So you just got to find your options and, you know, and that's in a really bad Ooh. spot here. As I was talking about before, the change in elevation is it's such a dangerous spot, like the jungle. This jungle biome is so dangerous because the change of elevation, anybody could be in the tree. Anybody could be on the mountain. So that's why Ennis is just in a really bad spot here. They were able to get eliminations earlier, but, you know, they got to plan for the, the later game as well. They got to get out of this jungle biome. Thomas HG and Malibuka, the team that have it all to do, many would say, because, of course, going into this today, they were fifth place. Still sat there at the moment, so they've been having decent games, Ema. They haven't quite been able to have that pop-off win. Not all weekend, so we haven't quite seen their best from these guys yet. And I still stick to my guns in saying that they will pick up a victory, although time is dwindling. Yeah, and Ennis is looking really low here. It's, I, I, don't, I don't know if he's going to survive, but... Oh, uh, yeah. Looks like he was just taken out by Suns and Alex, just uh, waiting for the feed to confirm it. 82 players left. Ooh. Yeah. I think the sun's getting absolutely beam, but they're playing the storm very well, of course. When you do have these sort of vault areas underground, you can stack up some white heels, and I think that might be what they're about to do. As Thomas and Malibuka are just able to look all the way down from up above, it looks like they didn't actually get the uh, get the full finish on one of those eliminations, so unfortunate for those guys not be able to pick that up. Maybe it was another team that snatched it away from them, but still sat on zero eliminations. Quite contrary to what we've seen from them in some of the DreamHack qualifiers, but they were so aggressive. Yeah, and with zero eliminations, you just got to make sure you get those storm ta storm surge tags because there is still 82 players left in its fourth zone. This is one of the most stacked games we've seen so far. Videl going down in the feed as well. It's not looking too good. They they just gotta they just gotta try to avoid everybody. This jungle biome has so many teams right now. If they can just take storm, you know, use a med use a med mist, use a med kit, and just you know, rotate around, just take that storm damage. It, it would probably be better than, you know, going straight through the jungle biome. Definitely as Alex and Sons right now, just underneath in this area as we spoke about earlier. What's good about this sort of strategy is you can actually stay under here for a lot of the zones. There's actually a rift under here, but if you select one of those doors and get the intentionally the wrong one correct, you can, or uh, you unlock the uh, intentionally the wrong one, you can actually end up rifting all the way up into the sky and make a late rotation through as Mr. Savage and Vadil are hiding oh. just underneath as Pepe's and Pablo Wingu who take out Gentle in the top of this island right now. Huge eliminations in the game as Bevies does lose his teammate Pablo Wingu should be able to get him up though as long as there's no one else gliding on in it's Estart that tries to get his revenge gliding all the way up on top can he try and find this he does have three shockwaves to use and shockwaves he will use as he goes all the way up it's a 1v1 between him and Bevies as Mr. Savage and Vadil just lurk underneath and are waiting for their moment to pounce yeah Mr. Savage and Vadil they have a really good opportunity here to get some elimination points and some storm surge tags so if they if they're feeling you know if they're feeling like fighting they should go up if you know, a lot of these players also make sure they, they look at the feed and see what's happening. Who got knocked? Was it a knock? Was it a full elimination? Because if it's like a 1v1v2, they're going to mainly, like, they're going to push that solo most of the time. I like this though from S Dark, just getting away. Just shows how much this means to this team. Any one slip could cause them to lose out on their position, as Bevies does. Unfortunately, getting uh, knocked all the way down, but keeps his life in the process. No one blasted decide to make their way up. This house is very popular. Everyone wants to go for it. <laughs> yeah, everyone, uh, you know, it's a. Uh, oh, Blaster getting knocked down by the deal here. Man, he's launch pad and out of here. Yeah, he's like, man, it was not a good, not a good decision. Vidal getting lasered. I think he got launch or he got shockwaved off of the mountain. Mr. Savage trying to help him from the high ground, trying to tag the people that are trying to tag Vidil. So it looks like Vidil is in a pretty good spot now. And uh, Blaster are just up there and knocked. They can get his loot pretty soon here. And then Noah chilling in the tree. <laughs> that that is a good spot. I think I'd prefer to be up with my teammate if I was a deal right now. I don't think he was meant to be down there, but Mr. Savage is holding down the fort quite well. Mr. Uh, I was going to say Mr. Savage, Mid uh, Malabuka and Thomas HD inside of the storm. Able to just play these uh, Medmists and these, uh, these bandages that they have. Vanyak and Karma, we saw these guys doing incredibly well earlier on, having some, some pretty solid games, but uh, not quite able to find the same success as we've seen from other players. Yeah, they're just chilling in the bush looking for tags. Clicks and Kami and Yapko are all in the storm and their NPC. You can't forget about them. <laughs> and they are, they have a vehicle which is really good, but it looks like Duke got lasered here. Clicks is using the, the flare gun to see their positioning and they are also using their flare gun. Looks like they're about to push up on them. 2v2 situation. Kami and Yapko versus Clicks and Duke. Duke launching Ooh. up. 
Great oh. shots there from Japko, who can actually connect with one of those shots. Oh. Takes down, but no! It's Kami and Japko who are down. It, just outside of Shattered Slams right there, it's actually Duke and Clicks who take them out. That is huge shifts in the performance of Kami and Japko, who we haven't seen go down that early in a very, very long time. So for teams that are second place, Acorn, Epic Will, S Dark and Gentle, if they are able to get that reboot off, they might be okay and they might be able to push for that top. Yeah, we don't usually see them going down early. You are right. They just, uh, I think they just laser duped. They're like, hey, we can get this elimination point. Let's go. It should be easy. But they didn't know it was Clicks and Dukes, one of the two of the best, you know, the best fighters in the game. We got Threats and Buga still up as well in the storm. And it doesn't look like he has some white meds. So hopefully Threats should have some. Hopefully so. Casca and Reciprocal all the way up on top. This building oh. right now is Akon and Epic Well. Speak of the Devils, those guys, unfortunately for them, are going down. It's Mu and Tax oh, who man. continue their run. Just off the back of a victory roll, they're taking out second place. So now that means first and seconds are out of the game. I'm not 100% sure if S Dark and Gentle are still in it. Of course, we saw one of them going down all the way up on top of that floating island. Are they still in it or are they not? Or is the door wide open for Thomas HG and Malabuka? Yeah, this is going to be a huge shift in points. This game is, you know, the. The, the top dogs are just going down early, so the huge shift is just... It, it could change the leaderboard quite drastically. Absolutely will, and this is a huge moment for Malibu and Thomas. We spoke about how good these guys can be, and this is the moment for them to potentially make a comeback. As Thomas HD can absolutely beam out the air by Tax's pistol. Huge knock onto Thomas HD, and Malibu does live to tell the tale, so he's got to make his way into zone. What does he do here? Does he stay going into the storm, or does he try and go back and revive Thomas HD? We'll have to wait and see how that one play, plays out, but for another one of our teams, of course, Fourth place going into this game, Hero and Fahad. These guys are in the driver's seat right now to take on the first place, second place, and third place team, of course. Yeah. They're in fourth going into this. Yeah, they popped off today. It looks like they have to move really quickly here. Uh, we got Pars and Baka trying to, trying to get their vehicle out of there. And they are on the bike. They got to be careful because they are very, very prone to shots right here because there's no cover. There's no windows. There's just nothing you could do if you get shot. Yeah, this is not time to be doing wheelies. This is time to be making sure you make your way into the zone. And unfortunately, this is what we talked about. The exposed nature of those bikes almost being their demise as Hero and Fahad are able to stay in the game, but now they're back in the zone. They have to be very, very careful. The storm will be ticking. Of course, it's a two tick at the moment. They do have to be very, very careful because I believe as soon as this zone does close in, it might just be a five tick. So they have to make sure that they're in. Robab looking down below and they're getting beamed right now. Their only mode of transportation, of course, for now is this, uh, this motorcycle. But of course, they do yeah. have the shockwaves as well if they do get shot off it. I like this play, making the, the less congested rotate, using these hills as cover. This is great stuff from them. I just want to see how they do it. They can place a bunker down straight away. That's going to be the strategy, I think, as Fluger and Opt decide to try and beam Zemi out of the air. Close shots from them, and I see this repeat arrival being used a lot more now, Emad. I like it. Yeah, I think they uh, learned that the splash damage is actually really well to their advantage. And we can see Hero and Fahad actually using, like, the rocks, the trees, oh, yeah. and just, like, those little <laughs> hills just to make sure that they actually save their mobility to end game. And it looks like they did. They still have the three shockwaves. Another bike replay right there. A little skid through the uh, through the gas cans and, of course, those uh, those rocks. That's what we love to see is Thomas HD down to one HP and does go down inside of this box. But he was able to be revived by, by Malibu Karate. So Malibu is still alive. We can see him on the screen right now. Zero eliminations for this team at this stage of the game. The door was wide open for them. We talked about it earlier on. Could it be a little bit less wide now as Malibu is down to a solo? Yeah, it looks like Tax and Mu just, you know, they just chase him down because they got the knock and they just want to get the finish. He did get him up, but they were able to track him down. And it looks like Malibu has the cannon. He is ready to fight. He's getting out of there with the truck. There's a lot of players on this edge zone and people are... Oh, Malibu in the open. Mu in a pretty good spot here, but they have to be careful from the so many people just around them, just waiting for the damage to come to them. Malibu has just used his final bunker of this of his inventory of the game for him right now. Unless he does pick up a refresh, so that is it. That's why he's looking to be extra aggressive right now, trying to pick up an extra little bit of loot. That refresh, that knock that can turn the game on its head. If there's anyone inside of this lobby that you want solo clutching, Malibu has to be at the top of your list. So do not count him out yet as the hard and hero are on the chase. Yeah, it looks like they're going through Mu here. They don't know that. He's right under them, just chilling. He does not want to make a sound. I think they actually know. Oh, and yeah, they got him. Wow. He's going down to hero. 
Huge eliminations right there from uh, from Hero and Fahad. Their first of the game, actually. So you love to see that from them. That's going to pick up a huge refresh. Still six shockwaves at this point in the game for them. So they're looking really, really good. They could be in the driver's seat for this end game. It looks as though we do have a little bit more of a center map zone. We know how quickly the elevations can change right now as we hop onto a replay. How did Thomas HD get knocked out of the air? It was from Tax. This pistol aim was absolutely sublime. And that's exactly what you need when you're in that position. Yeah, the pistol is actually one of the best guns in the game because it can shoot so fast and the reload time is so minimal that when you just run out of ammo, you just reload and if the, the spray is not too wide. So when you spray at people, it's actually just lasers them. Tommy and Banyak applying the pressure onto Blanchard and Mixon and they just have to shockwave away and that causes chaos as Mixon goes back into the storm, says goodbye to his life for now as he does get knocked and Blatch is just having to go away into some other place to sort of uh, try and try and save the day, but I don't think he's going to be able to do it for too much longer. But it looks like he's just found a bunker there, a little reuse of one of those. So Kami and Vanyak say, you know what, you're allowed to go there. That's fine by us. We got our elimination point. We are happy. That's their fourth of the game. Yeah, I think that was just uh, like a bad communication from the Shockwave. I don't think they were both ready for it, so he got Shockwave. Then Duke going down as well. Wow, the Rift. Look at this. Oh, everyone using the Rift. Almost six players using the Rift at the same time. For Harden Hero, one of them, so they need a huge game. It looks like they're trying to aim to land on top of as high a point as possible. Ziandi and Rescott, another one of our top teams, looking back into the zone, trying to pick up a refresh. Huge shots from the Cybertron Cannon onto Wox. Another one comes through, but doesn't connect as Wox does his to try and shockwave away. I think he's managed to do it just about. Rest Guard and Ziani, they don't have any of these shockwaves to get out. Can they make it through? No, oh, the, the tire tires. says the goodbye. Tires. Rest Guard no. go into the storm and it looks like they might just be meeting their demise inside of the storm. Vanyak and Kami still trying to continue their domination with eliminations as Hero and Fahad are still trying to power through this end game with six shockwaves and another elimination. Yeah, those shockwaves, six of them is huge. And Mr. Savage going down, Clicks also going down. Man, 13 players left. Nine Duo, so there's a lot of solos up. So if you're a duo right now, you're in a really good position. Here on for hard, huge game needed for these guys. And there's another one of those eliminations yeah. that was onto Veno out of the sky. They're fourth of the game, still got five shock waves as well. So they have it all to do, but I don't think they have any bunkers. Noah sneaking <laughs> in the trees, got a little tree house up here, yes. looking down on everyone else. I like the strat, I like the plays. We could be seeing a nice second play potentially coming through for them as for hard and hero. All craziness breaks loose right now as they do decide to try and go for a tree play themselves all the way up here and I like it they don't have any cover they need to yeah no these trees actually play a huge part in Robap going off the mountain here Robap going off the mountain six eliminations for that duo of course triple uh, FHD for, for Harden of course Tra Twisted Hero going through into this box huge elimination from them again that's their sixth of the game Box <laughs> feeling damage again from one of those Cybertron cannons Hero using his last shot play for Hard. nowhere to be seen they're playing solos right now can these guys clutch up individually for Hard, hit your shot he doesn't quite takes a shot onto Arrow gets the elimination and gets the knock onto Wox as well and this is a huge elimination a huge moment <laughs> for Hero and for Hard when they needed it most they had it all as Robab falls to second place but Hero and Fahad are your game three winners. That was outstanding.